Hello everyone. So in this video, uh, we're not going to be doing anything too crazy. We're going to be doing kind of a technical demonstration. Uh, so we're not going to be taking any videos. We are going to be moving Exibo around. Um, but what we're doing is we're investigating the level of sound that Exibo produces. Now, a lot of people have asked this question, you know, how, how loud is Exibo? And we wanted to answer that question as best as we possibly could and as scientifically as we could as well. Um, now, why is that a concern? Well, for photography, it's not a concern. We don't care at all. Uh, you know, Exibo could be really loud and it might scare the animals or it might do, you know, might just not be cool, but the pictures are going to turn out the same. Videography, we care. We care a lot because there's microphones everywhere. There's microphones on people. There's microphones on the cameras. Um, there's microphones around. Uh, for example, right now, one of the things I have is I've got a microphone right next to me that's picking up my voice. Uh, and if Exibo was really loud, um, it would interfere with all of that. You can't hear Exibo. You just can't. It, it doesn't work with video. Um, so we want to show that in this video is how loud Exibo actually is. So first of all, where does noise in robotic camera systems come from? Well, uh, in uh, most systems, it comes from things like low quality bearings, poor gears, uh, rough and uneven surfaces or poorly made surfaces. Um, and in Exibo, as I've mentioned in a video a long time ago, I think, is that we engineered it to be very, very quiet um, for the purpose of it working in video systems. You know, especially because Exibo can track you and it can follow you and it can do a lot of cool stuff and move around really fast. Um, we just wanted to make sure that it does all that really, really quietly. Um, and so, yeah, so I'm going to show that now. So now we've got uh, a couple different things going on. And I hope that you guys can hear something in this video other than my voice. And hopefully you can hear something that goes on around here just to give you a bit of an idea of reference. Uh, what I've done is I've done two things. The first is that the microphone I'm recording with uh, is sitting as close to the end of Exibo as possible. Sorry, there might be a bit of bumpiness in the sound there. Um, and then the next thing we have is we also have a sound meter here. Now, sound meter is used, they're kind of like a calibrated reference uh, that you can use to see, you know, how much sound is actually being generated. You might use this to, you know, determine how loud your fridge is or, you know, how loud your car is idling uh, or how much noise, you know, a machine is producing. In this case, how much noise Exibo is producing. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the sound meter we're going to measure um, how much noise is in our atmosphere. There's a lot of noise. Um, for example, cars going by on the street. Uh, I can also hear there's a transformer in the back making a lot of noise. Um, so we want to pick up, first of all, what our ambient noise level is, because there's noise everywhere in the environment once I stop talking. The next thing is I'm going to run Exibo at kind of a, a slow speed. So I'm not going to run Exibo too fast. Um, and then finally, I'm going to run Exibo at a slightly faster speed. And then after that, I'm going to give you a bit of a reference to kind of compare all of that too. Um, now, Exibo is sitting on rubber mounts uh, right now connected to the table, but this is sitting on a hard mount, so it's also going to pick up some noise coming through the table. So hopefully we get kind of the worst case scenario as far as the noise that we're picking up uh, from Exibo is. So what we're going to do is I'm going to push a button on this, and it's going to reset it to look for the maximum amount of noise in the ambient environment. So I'm going to push the button, um, and then whatever number you see pop up here after a couple seconds is pretty much the max level, um, unless I smack the table or do something like that. Uh, so... I just have to remember where everything is. So I'm going to hit max. Okay. So now, uh, once I start talking, you're going to see that number skyrocket. So you saw that we had uh, 38 dBA of noise there. So now when I'm talking, you can see it's much higher. So now we're at 70 dBA. So that means that it is many, my, my level of voice compared to ambient is many, many times higher. The difference between uh, whatever it was before, 38 and, and 70, is absolutely huge. Uh, and obviously it is, you know, that makes sense. Uh, so now we're going to do the same thing uh, with Exibo to figure out how much noise Exibo is making above ambient. All right, so now I have uh, Exibo running at kind of a normal speed, something that you'd expect uh, during video. Um, now, one of the problems that I'm experiencing is that every time a car goes by outside, it generally makes more noise than Exibo does. So I'm probably going to have to restart this clip a bunch of times. We'll see. Um, but anyway, so Exibo's moving between, it's in keyframe mode right now, and it's moving between a keyframe up here and a keyframe down here. You can see the slider's moving, that's panning, and it's also tilting at the same time. So we're doing all the motions uh, that you can do at the same time. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reset the meter uh, so that we can see 
how much noise uh, with reference to ambient Exibo is actually making. All right, no cars went by outside. That's good. So 42 uh, dB is what we got there. We had 38 dB on our ambient measurement. A difference of 3 dB means twice the level of noise, essentially. So Exibo is twice as loud as ambient. But if you look at my voice and me talking, even from over here, I'm further away than Exibo. You know, I'm a billion times louder uh, than ambient. Uh, so it's very, very quiet. It's not making a lot of noise at all. I'm going to give you guys um, another reference. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at a bit of a comparison. So we moved Exibo around. We know that Exibo makes about 42, 43 dB uh, of noise compared to ambient, which is 38 dB of noise. Now we're going to compare that to our trusty uh, Sony Alpha. So our Sony Alpha has been doing a lot of shoots for us and it's been pretty handy. But one of the things you guys are going to know is that if you've ever worked with a DSLR before, sometimes you're going to hear the lens uh, through the onboard microphone on the camera. You generally don't hear it through other microphones, so you're not going to hear it through uh, microphones like the one I have mounted next to me. Um, but it still can be quite noisy. So we're going to use this as our kind of benchmark reference. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and I'm going to hold it close to the microphone that I'm using to record my voice to see if you guys can hear just what this sound actually sounds like. So maybe you guys are hearing this. Um, so that's the sound of the autofocus motor inside of this, very, very close to the microphone. The microphone is also has high gain, so it's trying to pick up as much noise as it can um, to amplify. Uh, so that's uh, it's, you're probably going to hear something from this. So now what we're going to do is we're going to do the same thing. So we have Exibo just in hold mode. We're going to uh, reset this. We're going to see what ambient is, and then we're going to use the autofocus motor to see what the level of noise made by the autofocus motor is. So again, being very quiet. So what you can see is that Exibo makes slightly less noise by about 1 dB, which realistically is not a whole lot, but it makes less noise than an autofocus motor in a camera. So uh, I hope that answers your question, guys, about how, um, how much noise Exibo actually makes. To answer that question, it makes less than a pretty standard autofocus lens. So, so there's your answer, guys, and I really hope that uh, that kind of helps. Again, if you guys have any comments about this or about the way we did it, please comment below. Um, we'd really like to hear it. I'm going to do one more test. I'm going to run Exibo slightly faster and see what kind of noise increase we actually have. All right, so as you can see, it was making about 48 uh, dB of noise. Now, that's not too bad, but you'll notice that it is higher. So once you start to get Exibo speed up there, it does start to make a bit more noise. But again, it's still so low, and you're still never really going to hear it. And the speed we're moving at right now is faster than you'd be using for uh, interview tracking and people tracking. Um, it just shows you, though, that as even as Exibo moves faster, uh, it's not just the slow speeds that it's quiet. It's still very, very quiet um, You know when it's running, you know, like many, many, many more times, uh, you know, than my voice uh, in this area. So anyway, hope you guys like this video. If you guys have more technical questions uh, about Exibo, uh, we want to answer them in this kind of video fashion because it's a it's a really good way of trying to demonstrate as, as best as we can. Um, one of the other things we want to show is we want to show weight. Uh, so we're probably going to do another video. Our next video is probably going to be more tutorial related, how to shoot some cool video or how to use tracking or something like that. Um, but after that, we want to do a video to demonstrate the weight. Uh, so we're going to put a bunch of weights on here and, and test it out, move it around, see how fast it goes, stuff like that, just so that you guys can really see, uh, you know, uh, how much weight Exibo can carry. Uh, and then we can experiment. We can push it a little bit, put some extra weight on it, um, not putting any fancy camera gear on. We'll just put actual weights on so that, you know, while we're testing, we don't break anything. Um, so look out for that video. Uh, it's coming eventually. Um, so thanks for taking along, guys.